Hi friends, welcome back to RB English Academy. In this video, we are about to see a topic 7 types of soft skills. Let's get into the session. First, let me see what are soft skills. Soft skills are personal attributes that influence how well you can work or interact with others. So, soft skills is fully based on your characteristics. These skills make it easier to form relationships with people, create trust and dependability and lead teams. If you have good characters, people will easily attach with you. So you can create a good team. What are the difference between hard and soft skills? Hard skills refer to technical knowledge and training. Uh, for example, if you know how to operate the system or if you know how to use powerpoints and other things will come under the hard skills these are all technical things we have to learn these things and we can operate easily soft skills are more like personality traits it is again it is fully based on your characteristics teamwork communication problem solving these skills give you the ability to work well with others. So we have to develop our hard skills as well as soft skills. So hard skills is fully based on your knowledge and soft skills is fully based on your characteristics. Why are soft skills important? A lack of soft skills can limit your potential or even be the downfall of your business if you are not good in character it will lead you to downfall of your business by developing strong leadership teamwork and communication abilities you can run projects more smoothly and deliver results that please everyone so if you develop your soft skills like leadership teamwork communication abilities work ethics interpersonal skills and others you can produce results what you are expecting and what others are expecting so we have to develop our soft skills the very first one is problem solving skills the ability to solve problems can be defined as understanding a situation thoroughly identifying the underlying issue and finding a solution so definitely in every working place there will some problem first we have to understand the situation thoroughly and we have to identify the underlying issue and finally we have to find out a suitable solution for the problem and the next one is leadership skills leadership skills are a mixture of all the other soft skills as you will be able to work independently and within a team but you also take charge and guide the team to work more effectively so leadership is the most important skills and it is the mixture of all other soft skills we can work independently within our team and we have to take charge and sometimes we have to guide, we have to motivate our team, we have to encourage our teammates to make the work more effective. Leadership involves assessing, motivating, encouraging, enforcing accountability, building a team, resolving conflict and cultivating the desired culture of the organization. So these are the basic qualities of a good leadership skills they have to easily accessible they should motivate the team they have to encourage the teammates they should take the responsibilities building a team resolving conflict like problem solving again and cultivating the desired culture of the organization and the next one is work ethics skills effort loyalty dedication these are all attributes that constitute good work ethics so if you are working in a place 
you should focus on these three things to develop good work ethics effort loyalty and dedication a person with these qualities arrives at work on time completes task on schedule and stays focused and organized if you have these qualities you will be very punctual you will complete the task on time and you will be organized and the next one is teamwork skills for your business to function effectively people must work well together in order to achieve a common goal so if you are going to a working place there we are not going to function as a individual we are going to work as a team and we have to work together to achieve a common goal the quality of work improves when people use their individual strengths and skills together in collaboration so if we are working as a team there definitely 5 to 10 members will work as a team 5 to 10 members brain works as a team so it is not a individual strength it is a team strength so definitely the output will be very effective and the next one is communication skills there are five components to effective communication communicating verbally involves your ability to express yourself clearly and concisely so we have to speak or we have to express our ideas and thoughts clearly and concisely body language and facial expressions are non verbal forms of communication and we have to use appropriate body language and facial expressions while communicating with others written communication refers to your ability to compose texts reports and other types of documents so during the time of documentation written communication will help you a lot your ability to relay information through pictures and other visual aids is part of visual communication so you should be very good in visual communication also lastly you have to develop your active listening skills you should observe what are the things going around you and the next one is adaptability skills adaptability and flexibility are essential skills for embracing and adjusting to change adaptability in the workplace means being flexible and able to change in order to become successful for adaptability and flexibility uh, very recently we have uh, faced a situation a great pandemic situation during that time most of the companies were forced to work at home so during the time of uh, working from home we were used smartphones laptops personal computers and other things so according to the situation we changed ourselves we update ourselves so this is adaptability and flexibility according to the situation we have to move ourselves and if we are lacking in any things we have to update ourselves and we have to become a successful personality and the next one is interpersonal skills this is a broad category of people skills and includes building and maintaining relationships developing rapport and using diplomacy so interpersonal skills is nothing but it is a people skills how we are maintaining relationship within ourselves and also with other people it also includes giving and receiving constructive criticism being tolerant and respectful regarding others opinions empathizing with them so how we are working with other people will come under the interpersonal skills uh, whether we are accepting the criticism or whether we are tolerant or whether we are 
giving respect to others opinions or whether we are empathizing others will come under the interpersonal skills so it is called as people skills thank you guys thanks for watching keep supporting thank you